So this short video is how to work with cubs. Um, some of you may not know that once a weekend uh, and a big file is up uploaded from cubs and then it's read into the system. So uh, it's not updated every single night, but it is updated on the weekends. There's an exception here and there, one way or the other. Sometimes it gets delayed, but for the most part, it's in there. Obviously, there won't be any information on anything that does not have a client ID. Very good case in point here is that you, as the rep, are responsible for filling in this client ID. So when you see a client like this one that does not have a ID on it, okay, uh, that is not going to get updated. It must have an ID and only the rep knows that. So if you want to see the Cubs information and you haven't entered the client ID, find out what it is and enter it and save it. Okay? But there's a very good example of one that does not have a client ID on it, but it is set to client MS. Okay, so let's look around here. How about I'll start with the letter L and we'll see what comes up. Here, uh, here's one that is a client, and we'll bring up the information. Okay, now I'm in the overview at this particular point, and it will give me a little bit of information. It tells me all the different client IDs. When the Cubs files are imported, there are sometimes five or six client IDs. They'll automatically get picked up, but it all starts with you entering that first client ID. If you go into the company view, there is a Cubs panel, which is right here. Oops. Okay. And in this Cubs panel, you may see multiple items listed here. So if there's more than one, you can select the one that you want and then go to details and it will give you the actual detail of what's going on. If you want to see the numbers, then you'll go to here and then you'll see the numbers. Now, it, there's this other panel here called aggregate total. So if you have four or five client IDs listed, this will automatically add them all together and give you totals for the entire account. In this case, it's just the one. In addition to that, there is the maintenance of the client IDs. And this may be a little bit uh, advanced, but there is a little utility here called Edit Client ID. So sometimes you'll see an ID that does not belong. You can pull up the list of IDs, okay? In this particular case, we only have one, but there it is. Once it's selected, you can delete it, or you can click New ID, <coughs> which will clear it, enter a new ID, and save it. So if you know that there's some uh, dissimilar uh, IDs that belong all together, and that you would like that that Cubs or the Cubs client ID history to show up under this particular account, uh, then you can actually add them. Again, once the first client ID is added, uh, give it a week because it will probably pick up, depending on the account, it, it may pick up additional ones. So hopefully that will explain how all of these client IDs work and how the information is being pulled in from from Cubs so that you don't have to go look it up in CW Connect.